Hey guys, for this video we're going to take a quick look at this AvaPow 6000 amp car jump starter and power bank. They were nice enough to send me this for free so I can make a video showing it to you. These portable jump starters first started coming out a couple of years ago as battery technology has gotten better and better. They can get more power and a more compact packaging and these things work amazingly. For a while now I've been telling everybody one of these should be in every car that's on the road. Everybody at some point is going to have to deal with a dead car battery. And it's just going to take one time in a snowstorm you stuck at a grocery store and you will 100% agree with me. Let's take a look at everything that's included with this Ava Pow. And then go specifically over the device itself to show you how it works. So obviously you get the jump starter. It's going to come in this handy dandy zip up case. We open this guy up, you have a little nylon thing to hold the cables and accessories. And if we flip this pouch up here, you have a molded foam guy that will hold the jump starter itself. So everything will be packaged all together. You don't got to worry about losing any pieces. And it's a nice hard shell on it, so you don't have to worry about it being damaged or anything while it is in there. So you're also going to get the jumper cables. And look how big these cables are. You have a top post battery with those big clamps on there. These are going to fit. Other ones, smaller clamps, they don't always fit. These are going to. This one also has a little silicone or rubber protector over the end. So that stays clean and undamaged. We also have a couple of lights that will come on when it is plugged in. Blue is on standby. Green means it's ready. Red is an error. And you have a little... Uh, guy on the back here that tells you the potential problems if you get a red light. Now this guy's going to charge with a USB-C and the cable is included here. You also get this guy with a barrel connector on the back that's going to plug right into the front here and it is a 12 volt socket on the other side. Really handy. Pretty much anything you could plug into your car you could plug into this. I would specifically be looking at tire inflators if you have a 12 volt tire inflator, you don't want to run it off your car battery, can't run it off your car battery for some reason. Or if you think you already have a weak battery and you may be causing yourselves additional problems, you can run it off of this instead of your car. Now, as we look at the jump starter itself, on the far right, we have this little plug, and that's where our cables are going to plug into. We have that barrel connector that's the DC out I just showed you with this accessory plug there. We have two USB outs so this is perfect to work as a power bank to charge a cell phone or a tablet or something. If you're in your car you have some kind of emergency you want to make sure that your cell phone stays charged you have that. Otherwise even if the power goes out at your house you run out to the car you grab this guy you can at least keep your cell phone charged and be able to stay in contact with people in case you need to. There's that USB-C port for charging this device. Then we have the power button right here. If you just tap the power button, it'll show you the state of charge of this battery. You see we got four out of four bars. We are fully charged. Now if we press and hold, you will get the flashlight coming out the front end. Tap it once. That's going to be SOS. Tap it again and we get a strobe light. And then we can just turn it off. Now you see this thing has a nice handy dandy handle at the top which is perfect with the light. We turn on that light there and we got ourselves a nice little flashlight for emergency situations. We do have some of the stats of the jump starter printed on the bottom. This is the model A68. We have a peak current of 6,000 amps. This will work for any gasoline engine up to 12 liter diesel engines. Uh, the starting voltage of 12 volts, the DC out, that's that plug we looked at, has a 10 amp max. Our USB 1 output is 2.4 amps, and the output for number 2 is up to 3 amps, down to 1.5 amps, depending on what you got charging on that. And the input is 3, 2, or 1.5 amps for charging this guy here. So there it is guys, a quick look at the AvaPow 6000 amp car jump starter and power bank. Thanks for watching.